The Italian army developed their own tanks in 1920s, but it was not until the autumn of 1938 that they started to organize their tank forces in armed divisions. In Milan, the existing 2nd Tank Brigade was expanded to form the Arieta Armored Division in February 1939. It took its name from the Italian word for ram. This unit expansion took place in the context of the establishment of the Italian 6th Army, also known as the Army of the Po, named after the river in northern Italy. As a result of rising tensions between France and Italy in the shadows of the Munich negotiations at the time, the Italians formed this army as a quick reaction force. The Arieta division was one of the two armored divisions which were grouped together in an armored corps with two motorized divisions. The original 2nd Tank Brigade was formed in July 1937 with one regiment of Bezzaglieri and one tank regiment. The Bezzaglieri regiment consisted of one motorcycle battalion and two battalions of lorried infantry, while the tank regiment had three battalions of L3 light tanks. In February 1939, an artillery regiment and an engineer company was added to beef the brigade up to division level. During the brief campaign against France in June 1940, which was fought in the Alps, the division was held in reserve. Despite the considerable strength of the Arieta division, the Italian High Command did not decide to send the division to North Africa to fight the British in 1940. In this campaign, the Italians largely depended on infantry divisions, which were soundly beaten by smaller but more mobile British units. After this defeat, the Arieta division was sent to Tripoli as reinforcement in the spring of 1941, after refitting with the M13, the most modern Italian tank. In April 1941, the division provided a tank battalion for the pursuit of the British forces in Cyrenaica. It was diverted in order to cut off the British retreat. The Australians escaped, but the British 2nd Armored Division was destroyed and its commander was taken prisoner. The port of Tobruk remained in Allied hands, however, and as a result, the advance to Egypt was halted because the port was necessary for receiving supplies and the main supply route from Tripoli to Egypt ran past the town. The port was surrounded by three lines of defense, occupied by eight Australian infantry battalions, with three Australian infantry battalions in reserve. The first attempt to capture Tobruk was made on May 1st by the Arieta Armored Division and the Brescia Infantry Division, which managed to capture seven strong points of the outer perimeter. There was no breakthrough, but the Australians had not expected to be so vigorously attacked by the Italians. The Australians were eventually evacuated in August and replaced by British troops. The Germans regarded the British inside the Brook encirclement as the larger threat, and as a result, they placed their own units close to the port and the main highway. While the Arieta division was placed at the Bir El Gubi crossroads, to defend the outer perimeter. There were additional Italian divisions covering other sectors. In the beginning of November 1941, the division counted almost 150 M13 tanks, the most modern tank in the Italian army back then. The division was also coupled with the Trieste motorized division and attached to the Italian Corps Tarmata di Manovra, the Mobile Army Corps. Despite the fact that the Arieta division was a well-trained armored division, neither the Germans nor the British held it in high regard at the time. The British had a low opinion of Italian units due to the poor performance of the Italian army in the desert in 1940. The British knew where the Arieta division was located, but deemed it sufficient to send only one armored brigade to deal with it in their battle plan to relieve the siege of Tobruk. The British 22nd Armored Brigade was on paper equal in tank strength to the Arieta Division, with 158 Crusader tanks, the latest British tank design. The battle plan for the relief of Tobruk was also called Crusader. The confrontation between Arieta and the British Brigade 
began on November 19th at 11 o'clock when a company of M13 tanks confronted 40 Crusader tanks. In this skirmish, 8 British tanks were disabled while the rest retreated. Around noon, the British hurled the tanks against the Bizalieri but were repulsed due to the Italian supporting artillery. By the end of the afternoon, the Italians claimed to have disabled 50 British tanks, while the British recorded 25 lost tanks and 10 damaged tanks. The British claimed to have disabled 45 Italian tanks, while the Italians recorded 34 lost tanks and 15 damaged. The British command was however not aware that its armor brigade had been hammered by the Ariete division, and that the Italian armored division was still holding out when it ordered a South African infantry brigade to clear out Bir al Gubi. The next day, the South Africans were pummeled by Italian artillery when approaching Bir al Gubi. The Ariete stayed put. The division had averted a strategic disaster for the German forces at Tobruk. If Bir al Gubi had been taken, the British would have been able to relieve Tobruk and encircle the German forces at the same time. Deprived of supplies, and unable to evacuate, the German Africa Corps would have been forced to surrender. The career of Erwin Rommel would have been in ruins. After Ariete's first success, Rommel recognized his potential and decided on November 22nd to cross the British 7th Army Division with Ariete coming in from the south and his own Africa Corps coming in from the north. The ensuing battle descended into a battle of attrition, which the Axis could not hope to win and in December 1941 they retreated back to their original jump-off position in the beginning of the year. In January 1942 the Ayeta division was reorganized by the addition of an armored reconnaissance battalion, an anti-tank battalion and two assault gun battalions. After this upgrade the division advanced in the wake of the renewed German attack into Serenaika, which was halted short of Tobruk. This led to the Battle of Ghazala, the Germans would try to outflank the British defences south of Bir Hakim, where the Free French Brigade was located. The Ariete Division would sweep past Bir Hakim and try to take it, if possible. When the operation took off, the Ariete Division managed to defeat the Indian 3rd Motor Brigade, but the division itself also suffered at the hands of the Free French. The division entered the battle with 70 tanks, but 18 tanks were disabled by mines around the French position and by the end of the day the division had lost half of its tanks but had failed to take Bir Hakim. In a single day the Ayeta division had seen its greatest success by smashing the Indian Brigade and its larger defeat by losing most of its tanks. It never fully recovered from its losses. Despite its irrecoverable losses the division was once again thrown into battle at the first battle of El Alamein in July, after which it had only five tanks left. At the second battle of El Alamein, when the British attacked en masse, the Ariete division was practically destroyed. Rommel wrote in his memoirs, The Italians, who at the time represented our strongest motorized force, fought with exemplary courage. Tank after tank split asunder or burned out, while all the time a tremendous British barrage lay over the Italian infantry and artillery positions. The last signal came from Ariete about half past three. Enemy tanks penetrated south of Ariete. Ariete now encircled. Location 5 km northwest Bir El Abd. Ariete tanks still in action. In the Ariete we lost our oldest Italian comrades from whom we had probably always demanded more than they, with their poor armament, had been capable of performing. Rommel's escape from Egypt was made possible by the valiant last stand of the Ariete division. This was the second time that the division saved Rommel's skin, but also the last, because the division was all but destroyed at Al Alamein. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to get notifications for new content.